I've been in no, the no, no. supernumerary studies. No, I've been no, like no, um, a pre preparatory student. Yes, yeah. It's called. So I've been working on that two years, and I hope this year the jury yeah. Will, yeah. will will find it interesting. But, but you have you have a, it showed <coughs> me. I have seen you have a, a lot of work done already because I've seen scores and I've yeah I've seen yeah I've been mean, writing and because of two years you 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 really and it's reshaping. Yeah. Because there are so many things, for example, if I look myself back three years when I did my first application, oh yeah. my God, it's very different nowadays. Yeah, yeah. So it's changed quite a, quite a lot during the process. Yeah. I think that's the thing. So if I get in the program now, I will be much ready mm. that compared to three years ago. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so tell, tell me about that. So you're looking for, you're looking for a way of what? Of, of talking to, addressing young musicians, musicians in other traditions, mm -hmm. yeah. um, there is this kind of communication between singers and bass lines, exactly. how, how does that work? Yeah, so the original idea was more like flamenco bass, mm -hmm. and then I, I realized that I have, mm, I have more things to say if I open it up to a wider scope of instrumentalists. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I, I decided that it would be really uh, interesting now to focus on the way the relationship between instrument, instrumentalists and singers okay. and vocals. Yeah. So I think that's the thing, like uh, the flamenco, the root is the vocal tradition. Okay. And I use kind of like flamenco as a case study, okay. but I'm not like, if I hope that goes through, it will not be like a flamencology research. Yeah. It will be more like a research using a case study of a bass player interested on flamenco and transcribing from singers and finding the relationship between singers. So it's okay. collaboration between Wait. singers and... It's too, whoops. <laughs> it was yeah. the table. Yeah, it was the table. <laughs> it wasn't that we've drank already a full... <clears throat> yeah. But, uh, but yeah, that's the, the, I think that's something that it would be very interesting to talk about. And that's, I found that it would be beneficial for others as well. Yeah. So many people who are like, uh, interested in our tradition, most of the traditions come from vocal, yes. because it's the most like, in that instrument we have. And then some instrument becomes like the representative, but the instruments emulate the vocals. Same, same. I, believe, I believe the same. Yeah. And with the, back the same pipes for or bagpipes. With, uh, you emulate the voice. Yeah, yeah. And, and then, you know, th that's... Something like, grows from... from exactly. There. Yeah. yeah. So you think there's, there's this communication going back and forth. And yes. that, that... Yeah, and that the bass has a way of mm -hmm. communicating with the singer somehow? Or? Yeah, the bass uh, has a, a very interesting role. Mm. And that's something that... Uh, first of all, the bass... It doesn't. It's not part of the, tra the traditional mm. ensemble, yeah. and then the, therefore the bass can take the role of the guitar, or can take the role of the vocals, yes. or can take the role of an accompanying an instrument like a flute or violin. Mm -hmm. So that's very interesting. You can decide yeah. what kind of role, and that's somehow what I think, what I understand as counterpoint. Like what okay. counterpoint is like there is a, a line, and you are like, like superposing different like yeah so you're, you're, go, you're going so, into the classical reign cl classical universe mm. to say okay even i have this idea and the the most similar thing i find in classical music would be yeah. to say that this is a counterpoint yeah classical music it has the counterpoint that's like a really established, thorough esta yeah. established study and something that yeah. it's taken very far by yeah. uh, vocal uh, choir, choirs by yeah. orchestration but I found that the, the way I approach it is more connected to what, what some people call just counterpoint. Okay. Or counterpoint that happened, for example, if you listen to Miles Davis' quintet, yeah. there was the, the tenor saxophone and the trumpet. Yeah. And that was the, the most like, uh, uh, interesting counterpoint lines that I hear like, from, from that yes. time. There's, 
there's this incredible guy, American guy that now, I, I should, I don't know if you know about him, he's developing this thing that it, call, it calls Bebop Counterpoint. And it's, it's crazy. Yeah, I saw <laughs> it to me. I would love to see <laughs> it's, it. Yeah. Very interesting, but, but it's, it's the same course, line. It's yeah. the same line of research. So it's, um, it's something that's happening now. Of course. Um, uh, you know. And when I studied in Berkeley, my favorite uh, course was uh, Jazz Counterpoint by okay. Bob Pilkington, wonderful yeah. teacher. Yeah. So that's, that's the way they, these, these two guys make counterpoint lines in the moment. Mm. Listen to each other and finding everybody register. And that's something that happens in the big band. It has happened in Tutti or something that is called Soli, or it can happen in many different tools. Yeah. And that's something that I kind of like think, okay, this, this can work really well with rhythmic music like flamenco. Yeah. Uh, not so much I'm taking from the classical counterpoint, although yeah, yeah. I, I would like to master it and like yeah. you know be able to like you know really understand the language and, and I'm very interested. But mm. I think the the way we understand the classical counterpoint with it's all different. the rules yeah. will not fit so much a popular music style yeah. such as flamenco. Yeah. So I think that's kind of like this relationship between two instruments can go beyond the bass and the vocals. Yeah. It can be vocals and cello, vocals and flute, mm. why not? Vocals and trombone, vocals and any kind of like a lower instrument. Okay. Any kind of instrument that is not like a, in a high register and can mm. accompany a higher register instrument. Mm. There are many instruments in that range. So it becomes, your research in a way becomes more universal. That's my yeah. point, exactly. That's interesting. Yeah. And, and you, you say flamenco as a case study, so, so you think that someone could look at your research with a trombone? Mm -hmm. That's the point. And with a different folk tradition. Exactly. Yeah. And also inspire their own folk traditions. Yes. Yeah. That's really interesting. Mm -hmm. Because, I don't know if you agree, but I have...